Good morning, everybody. This is Steve Fletcher with a Trumpet for My People. Today is February 7th, 2023. And I have seen something that I want to share with you. And I want to, first of all, show you uh, my last two messages as I was talking about the 15th day of Shabbat, February 6th, the number 26, the number of God. And then I went in and I talked about the conjunction of comet E3ZTF with the, the goat star Capella in the constellation of Auriga. Okay. The comet that we have been watching since Hanukkah, the green comet that was closest to Earth on February 2nd, was approaching the constellation of Auriga and the goat star Capella, which in this video uh, I showed the uh, some characteristics of this star. It is the sixth brightest star in the sky. It is uh, connected to a hexagon. The uh, constellation itself forms a hexagon, and it is the goat star. Capella is the goat star. Now, what I have found is the exact time of the Turkey earthquake was the closest conjunction of comet E3ZTF to Capella the Goat Star, and we are in Tubi Shavat right now between February 6th and February 7th. Over the next day, we're still in Tubi Shavat between February 6th and February 7th. Okay, and I was pointing to this yesterday. Now I want to show you the details about the time of the Turkey earthquake and the location of comet E3ZTF in comparison to Capella, the goat star, at the time of the Turkey earthquake. Okay, so we know that there was a huge earthquake today. There have been many aftershocks of large magnitude the other report that I shared, not on my own channel, but through a community post um, from another channel into thin air, did a great report on how this earthquake ran like a bell, rang like a bell across the entire earth, causing seismographs to be shaken around the globe from this one earthquake. And then as the uh, earthquake came around to New York. There was a an earthquake in Buffalo, New York, and in Canada, close to Niagara Falls, there was an earthquake, and it was the same uh, earthquake from Turkey that shot out a and 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 swung around the Earth like a bell and caused an earthquake as that same wave was coming across. Uh, New York, an earthquake hit New York, okay? So, the, I mean, we know that today was a huge day in, in this, in this uh, because of this earthquake. The actual numbers now are saying more than 10,000, 12,000, and they haven't even begun to pull people out of the rubble yet. And so, I mean, this earthquake could go into the 20,000s, maybe even into the 50,000s as far as how many people are going to die because of this earthquake. So, huge piece of information. Now, I want to show you the time of the earthquake. The earthquake struck at 4.17 a.m. local time. Okay, 4.17 a.m. local time in Turkey's Gaziantep province. Okay. All right, so what I want to do is I want to go to Stellarium and I want to show you from perspective of Gaziantep, Turkey. And I want to show you 4.17 a.m. and I want to show you the conjunction 
of Comet E3 ZTF with the Goat Star Capella. Now, this I wrote this message, shared this message one day ago before all of this happened, but I was pointing to this time frame of Comet E3 ZTF going by the Goat Star Capella and the connection to Tubi Shavat between February 5th, 6th, or 7th. Okay. So the earthquake took place at 4.17 a.m. Let's go to Stellarium. And what I have done here is I have put in on the location, okay? I put in on the location, Gaziantep, Turkey. This is the province where this earthquake struck. Just to give you some perspective that from Gaziantep uh, perspective, as they're looking up in the sky, they're going to see this comet. I mean, if they're going to watch Capella and the comet together. Okay, let's go back a day. All right. Let's go back a day. And let's go to the 17 minute mark of any hour. Let's go back a day. And now we're going to we're going to track this to February 6th, 417 a.m in Gaziantep, Turkey. Okay, we're going to see, obviously, we can't get to the exact minute, but let's look at how close this was on the exact moment of the earthquake, how close this comet was to the goat star, okay? The goat star. Now, I mean, last night at the Grammys, they did an, a blatant, uh, in your face worship of Satan at the Grammys. Okay. A guy with horns got up on the stage and everybody dressed in red was worshiping the devil on the stage at the Grammys. Okay. Now we have a a star in the heavens that's represented the goat star. I mean, if we go and click on Capella, even right here in Stellarium, it's, it shows you Capella, the goat star, okay? This is a goat star. This constellation represents a goat herder. This is a goat herder. It's the sixth star, the brightest, the sixth brightest star in the heavens after the sun, Okay? It's the sixth brightest, number six, like six, six, six. Then you've got a hexagon. Okay, this is a hexagon shape. Then you've got the whole idea here that this is a goat herder, a riga. This whole constellation represents a goat herder. And I shared with you why this is a, a very important time. Tubi Shavat and the connection here to this star. Okay, now let's walk through this timing of this star and let's come to uh, 417 a.m. on February 5th, on February 6th, uh, the day of the earthquake. This is right now, it's pointing to February 5th. Let's go forward hour by hour until we get to uh, February 6th at 417 a.m. There is 4.17 a.m. The exact moment of the earthquake. Okay. We are on Tubi Shavat. Still between today and tomorrow. And we've already had a, an amazing sign right here. 
And this is exactly what I was pointing to yesterday. Okay? Can't get any clearer than that on the title of my video, Capella the Goat Star and Comet E3ZTF on Tubi Shavat. What happened? Exactly as that conjunction happened. The Turkey earthquake. Okay, so I just got to thinking how close this was and I wanted to look it up and it seemed like a pretty close match here. And so I wanted to bring this to everybody's attention. Let us look at the Torah calendar. Okay, if we look at the Torah calendar here. Month 11, day 15, Tubi Shavat. February 6th to February 7th. 74 years ago today on the Hebrew calendar, Israel had its first Knesset meeting. Its first government was formed. And the first Knesset meeting took place on Tubi Shavat, 1949. 70 years of Israel plus the four-year delay of the fig tree. New year for trees. Now, before I close, let's look real quick at 417, the time of the earthquake in the Strong's Concordance. In the Greek, it is wind. Wind. The wind figuratively applied to empty doctrines. Properly a gust of air, wind, figuratively something with gusting storm-like force, like something bent in a particular direction. Ironically, obedience to the Lord sometimes does bring us into storms. Here God meets us in ways that could never happen otherwise. Praise the Lord. Goes on to say here, immediately Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and go ahead of him to the other side to Bethsaida while he himself was sending the crowd away, seeing them straining at the oars for the wind was against them. At about the fourth watch of the night, he came to them walking on the sea and he intended to pass by them. The fourth watch. And the wind, a storm-like force. Then we have, in the Hebrew, hail. Both seem to bring the connotation of judgment. Wind and hail, storms. Wind and hail together, hailstones. This, this verse was interesting here. If we go to Ezekiel 13, 13, I had already looked this up because I wanted to search where we could find wind and hail together. And in Ezekiel 13, 13, it says, Therefore thus saith the Lord God, I will even rend it with a stormy wind in my fury, and there shall be an overflowing shower in mine anger and great hailstones in my fury to consume it. So here we have wind and hail in the same verse in Ezekiel 13, 13, talking about the judgment that God is bringing upon the earth. I will even rend it with a stormy wind in my fury. There shall be an overflowing shower in my anger and great hailstones in my fury to consume it. Why the Turkey earthquake was so deadly according to science? Maybe we need to talk about why the Turkey earthquake was so deadly according to the Bible, even as we can see on the Drudge Report, Syrians knelt and prayed fearing it was Judgment Day. Most powerful to strike region in century felt as far away as Greenland. Remember the movie Greenland, the Green Comet? Mega quakes rock Turkey, thousands killed aftershocks like Armageddon. Okay, so here you go. You've got Judgment Day, you've got Armageddon, and yet 
The Washington Post wants to talk about why this earthquake was so deadly, according to science. I think we need to get back to the Bible and the judgments of God that have begun upon the earth. Signs in the heavens, as in heaven, so on earth. The judgment of the goat. This is why I'm going to continue watching tonight into tomorrow. This may be the beginning of the big one that is coming. This is just the beginning. I pray you guys are blessed. This is Steve Fletcher with a trumpet for my people. The sign of his coming revealed.